Sorry, what, what were my lines again? <laughs> oh, okay, ready. Hi, I'm Mitzi, and this is my make shop, where I bring ideas to life. Today, I'm taking you behind the scenes of how I'm made. Whoa, so cool, right? Can't wait to show you. Bye! Hi, I'm Shazzy and I am the maker of Mitzi Makes It. I wanted to make a video talking about how I actually make Mitzi. There's a lot of cool pieces of technology coming together to bring her to life. And I wanted to share a little bit of behind the scenes and my process and workflow and hopefully inspire you to make something just like Mitzi. So this is my setup usually when I am about to record. I have a microphone here. Uh, I think it was like $30 from Amazon and had good reviews. So I've just been using that one. Um, this little iPhone stand was $6 and I stacked some boxes so it can line up a lot better with my face since um, the front of my camera is what is driving Mitzi's face. I need to kind of be one to one with that. So yeah, this will usually be what I use to record. Um, and I'll usually do a couple takes and it's pretty much good from there. So this is me recording um, a video of Mitzi. You can see I have my iPhone set up streaming into Unreal and Mitzi is live so I can see her reactions in real time as I'm recording, which is really helpful and it's really fun to play with her expressions. So I'll usually do one or two takes for a scene and that's about it. So I'm using the new Live Link face app by Unreal that came out maybe about a month ago to stream my face across to be Mitzi's face. And Mitzi was made with all of the AR kit blend shapes and followed all the naming conventions. So it was really quick to get her up and running and alive. Um, yeah, it's really great. It's fun, it's silly, she's cute. So I'm hoping to make more videos talking about the technology I'm using kind of more specifically and in more detail. But for those of you who don't know Unreal Engine, it is a giant meaty piece of software that lets you build games, create content, different experiences. There's so much packed in there for you to start with. So that is actually what I'm using to make Mitzi. I built her little shop in there. That's where I can bring her to life. I can pose her out. I can put animations on her. Uh, I'm streaming my face into there. So it's a giant piece of technology. There's lots of tools in there for you to get started. It is completely free to download and use and build. So it's a great resource. Um, you're never too young or too old to start playing with it and learning. There, I've been using it for almost four and a half years now and there is still so much that I don't know about it and I'm continuously learning more and creating in a different way and then they keep updating it. So there's a lot to take in and there's a lot to learn, but it's a great tool. So this is my animation blueprint that I have set up. It lets me stream in my iPhone and that is what's driving Mitzi's facial expressions and um, kind of her head rotation, which I've set up there in some blueprints. Uh, she's usually in a T pose, so I just kind of threw some transform nodes to just bring her arms down so it's a little less distracting. So this is the base that I start with while I'm recording. So I will kind of set that up so here you can see me pulling up a previous record I did and it's really cool because an animation file gets saved out with all of the keys from your facial expression so you could see here all the keys that were set during this record and also her head rotation so it's really cool that it, this gets saved out as a file because you can export this out bring it into Maya if you want to do anything you can layer your control rig or body animations on top of this and it's really great you can use it across a variety of scenes and play it back and make any tweaks to it that you want so this is how Mitzi's face is set up. You could see all these blend shapes that she has and you will notice that they follow the Apple AR kit naming convention. So the plus side is if you follow the naming convention, you do not need to do much more in Unreal to get this to stream through the Live Link face app. So it's really great. You can see me kind of going through some of the shapes just showing you um, what they do. Um, 
eye blinks, jaw opens, things like that. Um, there's a couple that she doesn't have. Obviously, she doesn't have a nose or she doesn't really have cheeks, so those have been left out. Her skeleton is also following the epic naming convention, uh, similar to kind of the mannequin as an example, if you're familiar with that. That allows me to quickly retarget a lot of animation mocap packs without having to set up anything extra. So the first thing I usually do is place Mitzi somewhere around her shop. Everything is easily movable. So I went ahead and placed her here at the entrance kind of workspace area. And then I will open up Take Recorder and I want to add everything that I want to record. So I've added Mitzi and I'm going to go ahead and add my microphone as an input also. So if you notice my live link face is not coming through right now, you actually have to enable a setting on your asset or in this case on Mitzi to be able to update animations in the editor. So if you go ahead and click on your your character and look up animation you should see a little checkbox that you want to set to true and once you do that your face should start uh, streaming through so there we are we are live um, she's following my head movement and that all looks good so we're gonna go ahead and hit record you get a little countdown uh, before it starts and it starts recording those two things that we've added you can add your cameras or a variety of other things that you wanna keep track of. So we'll go ahead and record and stop. Um, so after that stopped, you can easily review your scenes um, and play them back. So we're gonna do that, make sure everything's sounding and looking okay. Um, you'll notice there are two of her because one of them is being spawned, so you need to actually just hide the other one. Um, so I hit the little eyeball and hid that, and now we are reviewing it. Everything looks really good. So. so what we are going to do next is go into the sequence and add a camera. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock this so I can edit the sequence. We want to add a cine camera to the scene so we can set up a shot and be able to render that out. So we have Mitzi here um, and I'm also going to add her control rig so we can pose her out. So I've added the control rig. You can see here all the different controls that I had set up and we're just going to play with our hands a little bit and show you that I can pose them and move them around. Um, you have control over anything that you add a control to. Um, so I'm just going to do her hands in this example, move that back to the front, um, put a couple keyframes. It's going to be a terrible wave, um, but just to kind of prove the example of how much you can really animate on top of your sequence. So I'm going to go ahead and add a couple keyframes here. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is actually add our camera. So we're gonna go to the cinematic tab and drag out a cine camera and we are gonna place that um, to get a nice shot of Mitzi. The cine cameras have tons of settings like real life cameras that you can adjust. And we're gonna add that to our sequence which will make a camera cut track by default. So she's looking a little fuzzy, so we're gonna adjust our focus um, to make sure it's focused right on her so we don't have any kind of blurring happening. So I'm adjusting this, getting it nice and crisp on her, and everything looks good now. Just add a key there. And, and just like the, her control rig or Mitzi, the cameras, you can animate as well um, by putting keyframes. So I'll do a couple as an example here. So now we have a fun little camera animation. I probably wouldn't do anything like this in any of the actual episodes, but it really uh, 
shows an example of what you can do. So this is looking good enough as kind of a quick example. So we're going to render this out and we're going to use the movie render queue. You can add as many sequences to this as you want and I'll kind of go through and render all those. So we are going to add our sequence. Um, the audio is already part of that. So just look up your sequence and add that there. And then there's a handful of settings that you can set depending on what you are trying to render. I have a couple saved. Um, so usually I'll do an EXR and I the anti-aliasing and the number of samples is already set. I will update kind of where I want to output these renders. So I just have a renders folder and I'll try to match it to the scene name and make a new folder so they all go in there. Usually it takes a couple uh, renders to get it right. Sometimes I forget to set the camera focus on some things and she comes out blurry. Um, and another thing too is we want to export the audio. So just making sure to set that to true and I'll do render remote so that it will render everything very quickly and get the audio for me as well without having to add any extra flags. So I'm gonna hit render and depending on how long the scene is, um, if I wanna do kind of a higher sample, which post-processing I'm using, and of course here you can see that I forgot to hide the other Mitzi, so there are two of her. So I'm going to go ahead and quit that go to Mitzi and actually hide her in the game so that she does not get rendered out since the sequence is spawning her already. So fix that and then I should be able to uh, re-render and she should be gone. So hopefully you will see that. So this is our render preview and you can see it says oh, I'll take maybe five minutes to render this. Um, I have my post process settings pretty at a pretty good, um, I wouldn't say they're super high, but they are up there. Um, so she can look really great, get some nice shadows in there. Um, this is all ray trace, so hence why uh, talking about samples and things like that. So I usually kind of will let this run, I'll make sure I'm keeping an eye on it. I, keep forgetting to set my camera focus at times if I'm changing shots, so uh, I've had to re-render a couple times, but getting a little bit better at it. So yeah, this will run, and then we will have kind of the final images from this. And here is our final render. Obviously, some of it is not in focus, but you get the idea from start to finish. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please reach out if you have any questions or you want to learn more about how Mitzi's made. And if I can help you make something, just let me know. Bye.